what I'd like to do now is I'd like to use uh, various uh, bandpass filters here and check to see uh, whether I can generate the appropriate uh, local oscillator frequency and your local uh, the appropriate uh, BFO frequency and check to make sure that uh, uh, signal I'm injecting here for the appropriate uh, band is actually making it through the various mixers. So I don't have um, bandpass filters for all the bands. I have uh, I only have a 40 meter bandpass filter and an 80 meter bandpass filter and several low pass filters. So I'll use uh, some low pass filters instead of using a uh, bandpass filter and we'll check the um, uh, the response. So this is the spectrum of the signal that's going into the product detector that's a second mixer and uh, you can see one peak here which is the actual signal that's being mixed by the first mixer and being passed through the um, crystal filter and that's 4914380 the actual center frequency of the crystal filter is 4914375 that's as close I, as I can get to that frequency because the resolution of my signal generator that I'm using is only good to 10 Hertz so I, I can't um, I'll have to go and reprogram it to get better uh, resolution but for this purpose is fine the second peak here that's just the image of the uh, BFO frequency being uh, fed into the uh, SA612 and making its way back through the uh, input RF port. And here's the output from the product detector, the second mixer. And you can clearly see the uh, peak here for a uh, 1.5 um, kilohertz audio signal coming out. And, uh, and I'm feeding in a minus 73 uh, dBm RF signal coming in. So that uh, that's working. And if I was to tune the local oscillator you should see that frequency change you can clearly see as I change the local oscillator that uh, frequency is changing this is for 30 meters and this is the audio spectrum for the output for 30 meters and here's the audio spectrum for 20 meters and I'm just gonna change the ending frequency I'm going from 100 Hertz to uh, 5 kilohertz I'm just gonna go out a little bit wider here to say 20 kilohertz and uh, as you can see there's nothing going out so once I put a bandpass filter in or a uh, low pass audio low pass filter and I can just get rid of any of this noise that's coming through here and I'll just be able to pass this uh, through to my audio amplifier. This is the input to the product detector for 15 meters and this is the audio spectrum for 15 meters. This is spectrum for the input to the product detector for 10 meters and this is the audio spectrum for 10 meters and the input signal is minus 73 uh, dBm and once again I'm just going to change the local oscillator and the uh, audio uh, peak there at which is about 1.5 kilohertz is going to change So as you can see I got reasonable results with these uh, various filters and the receiver built as is. Um, however that was for a limited number of input frequencies. It's basically what my XG3 uh, is able to put out. I didn't scan the entire uh, band of frequencies it's just for one frequency. So for the frequencies that I fed in here seem to uh, work okay. Now 
that's not to say that every single frequency in the band is going to work as well but I think um, uh, it should uh, or I, at least I hope it should